Um, so I have struggled um, since, you know, childhood with my own autonomy and being able to do as I please. You know, as a child, you are programmed to obey authority. You know, you have to obey your parents, you have to obey your teachers, you have to obey the government, you know, you have to obey your boss, just all sorts of people that you are taught to obey. Um, people, uh, social hierarchy, social constructs, all sorts of things. If you want to participate in the society, you're expected to conform and obey these um, paradigms. And I am reaching a point in my life where I, I want to say no. Um, I was reading this book called The Four Agreements and the author was explaining how, you know, you've come to agree with all of these, all of these constructs and rules and, and beliefs. You've come to agree with them and, you know, you reach a point in your life where you want to change things and you have to decide that you don't, you no longer agree with them anymore. And there's just a lot of things that I, I no longer agree with. And for me right now in this season, um, the main thing that I am no longer agreeing with is the idea that someone else has autonomy over, not autonomy, someone else has authority over me. I am a, and this is like kind of, kind of like going to go into like affirmations kind of thing, but I am a free being. I am amazing. The fact that I exist is amazing. And the very nature of my existence makes me free. There is no one on this earth who has authority over me unless I grant them authority. It's, there's no one. I can do whatever I want to do. And I will do whatever I want to do. I have spent so much time allowing other people to tell me, this is bad for me, don't touch this, don't do that, dress like this, look like this, say, speak like this, speak when I speak when I speak to you, you know, jump, perform. I, I'm over it. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of meeting all of the all of these expectations that other people have for me when they don't have anything for me except for expectations. They don't got no money. They don't have any love. They don't have any support. They don't have any compassion. All they have are expectations and demands. I'm over it. I, I don't, I don't want to meet them there anymore. And especially as someone who works in customer service, the whole, uh, our, our retail, the whole ideal of customer service and, you know, giving your all to these fucking rando strangers who treat you like shit is ludicrous. And I think that working the job that I have worked, it helped me understand how I've been living, how I've been pouring so much of myself, of my energy into people who don't care to reciprocate it and who don't even appreciate it. They don't appreciate the fact that I'm going out of my way to smile and be gracious. They don't appreciate the fact that I'm going out of my way to be patient. They just expect it. There's no appreciation. They feel entitled to it. They feel entitled to the best version of me for some reason as if the best version of me should not be reserved for me. My patience is for me. My gracious graciousness is for me. My smile is for me. The way I dress is for me. Speaking of that, I'm just rambling now. But the way I dress 
okay so i've been i got a new uniform and i got a new wig so i've been getting a lot of comments at work and um i found myself like there's this there's this mirror and for some <laughs> you guys but for some reason for in my opinion like when i catch myself like my side profile like with my wig and you know i mean i look good now without it but you know when i'm all like i have my makeup on i have my wig i'm like dang like i look good but i have been feeling ashamed to look at my side profile come like you know i don't want anyone to think you know whatever because i'm looking at myself but i just have like i just told myself i get dressed for me i don't care to have anyone else look at me but me i get dressed for me but i get to see myself the least that doesn't make any sense that means if i want to look in the damn mirror to see what i did for me I'm gonna do it and I don't care what anyone else has to say about it. Get upset if you must. That's for you. you can, that's for you. But for me, the look is for me. I, 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 I put on my body spray yesterday morning before I got dressed for work and I was like, it just hit me. I was like, damn, I smell good. And I don't care to have anyone else smell me but me. The odor is for me. I, I just, I, and like the last thing I wrote in my journal, like I was just looking at it is, I underlined it twice, or yeah, twice is, I can say no. I can say no, I can say no, I can say no. No, no, no. I don't agree, I don't want to, I will not. No. And if I'm in a good mood, I might say no thank you. But that's only if I'm in a good mood and if I feel like it. I am so serious about working for myself and you know my problem is I don't know what to do I don't know what I'm gonna do to work for myself you know um, I commissioned someone to design uh, to actually like draw some uh, t-shirt ideals that I, I have so I'm waiting for those to come through. So I, I'm gonna do my t-shirts and my, you know, my merch. And I got my YouTube channel, you know, I'm trying to be more active on my social media channel uh, pages. And there's this other thing that I want to do, but Terrence insists that I cannot do it while I'm living with him, you know, with our current arrangement. And that's OnlyFans, our um, adult themed, our Patreon, you know, that's a Patreon that's like OnlyFans, but that's on Patreon so that people, you know, won't necessarily be misled into, into what it is that I'm doing on this site, you know, like I just want to basically post body selfies, you know, of me dressed um, in sexy lingerie. But um, he doesn't want me to, and he just don't know. Like, I really want to work for myself. And that's something else that I've been trying to manifest. Like, I'm like, by 2020, I will be self-employed. And I feel like OnlyFans slash Patreon, my OnlyFans slash Patreon idea could really help me do that. Um, but he's like, no. and. And so I know that when and if I take that step and do that, that means I'm going to be living by myself. And 
it's like how can I move out without first having secured the bag to move out you know what I mean so I feel like I'm like stuck um but I know that I'm not anyways Terrence just texted me so I have to go see what he wants I don't have to but I will embrace my freedom like you know it's it's amazing I don't because I was gonna say oh it's scary how free I am you know just the concept of just how free I am and you um just by virtue of existing in in this plane you know in, on this planet you you're free you know you're free to do what you want to do um i'm not and I, i'm not saying it in the sense that uh like oh I, i'm not saying oh i'm in america therefore i'm free i'm saying as a human, as a being, by nature of my existence, I am a free creature. That, that's how it is. I'm a free creature. That's how I was made, you know? That's the nature of humankind. I, I wanna say animals, you know? like pe like beings with a conscience like we're free at least the ones that i know of you know and, and I, I don't i don't know all of them you know i i, I don't i i don't know what's all out in the universe in the world and in, in the entire history of existence i don't know but i'm saying right the, this right here i'm free you know um and there's, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, um, you know, I used to be like really Christian and even not being Christian, there's this idea that somehow we're not free, that there's like something pulling the strings, you know, kind of, um, that like we're like 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 Thanos that there's something inevitable you know like our our destinies are inevitable in the sense that someone else decided them for us you know and I don't buy into that I, I don't I don't buy it you know I think that we make our choices and we're free if we realize it we're free to make whatever choice that we want to make. You know, whatever that means to you. Because there are other, you know, you're, you don't exist in a bubble. You know, there's going to be the consequences they're going to be an effect you know from you making whatever choice you choose to make i'm not saying that you're you know relieved of all um of all of that i'm just saying you know in the first place you're free to do whatever the hell you want you know like if there wasn't all of these constraints and traditions and all of this BS, you know, in the way, if there wasn't already a, a program set up in place for you to follow, if there wasn't already a beaten path, you know, it might help you understand that you're free to go 
whichever direction you want to go. It's just that you're accustomed to the beaten path, to what has been set out before you, to, to what has been trodden down before you. That's what you're accustomed to, but you're free to go wherever. And I just, you know, really wanted to under, I want to understand that for myself. I feel like I, it's vital that for me and my mental health and my happiness that I understand that because, you know, I deal with a lot of stuff, um, you know, mainly um, I'm dealing with my mental illness and there's so much like with my brain and like intrusive thoughts and voices there's so much out of my control that what's what is in my control i want i want it to be optimized i want it to be the best version that it could possibly be. I want to be as happy as it can be. I want to be as at peace as it can be. You know, I want it to be as free as it can be. What is in my control, what I can control concerning what's in my head. I, I want to control it well. And for me, allowing other people to control it and, I, and perhaps you know just saying it you know realizing that i have this mental illness where i hear other voices and you know i have these intrusive thoughts it's like for me it's another form of outside influence and outside control like do the it's it's not really for me from what i hear it's not really like do this it's more like uh it just comments but that's all it takes to influence someone like oh that's bad that's good you know that's stupid you know you're stupid you're ugly she's ugly that's a bitch you know that's the kind of stuff that i hear so it's still like to me um it's like directions it's like influence you know well if that person is a bitch then that's this is how i should tr respond this is how i should feel if i'm ugly this is how i should respond this is how i should feel you know um if that's good then this is how i should respond this is how i should feel you know so it, to me it's like it's it's more programming um that i can't control how other people are you know the voices try to program me but i can control how i respond i can control that thank goodness you know i can i don't know how other you know i don't i don't know what other people are experiencing unless they share it with me um but i can control how i respond and i choose to not believe the bs and to think for myself i hear you but i'm gonna think for myself thanks <laughs> and and you know experiencing my mental illness again helped me understand how much outside influence i've been under and i don't want to be under it anymore you know i like i said i don't live in a bubble I know it's gonna keep, you know, rubbing up against me, you know, talking to me, you know, um, I know it's gonna be in my face. Like in Ready Player One, you know, you tried to enter the stimulation and they wanted to have all those ads, you know, I, I know it's gonna be in my face. However, Terrence just texted me, but um, I choose how I respond to it, whether I ignore it, you know, whether I reject it, that's on me and that's what there's going to be a lot of rejection going on i can say no but yeah so i just rambled for some time um but i wanted to make a video i wanted to talk to you guys i just didn't know exactly what i wanted to say so this is what i want this is this is what i said and um 
I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I hope you guys are having a lovely lunar cycle. I I pulled my tarot cards <laughs> for this lunar, this uh, full moon cycle, and it it was looking it was looking a little grim. So hopefully, you know, you know, this too shall pass. Let me put it like that. But anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing great, and I will speak to you soon.